Richard. Hi, yeah, I've got some hound shirts. What do you think those would be worth? Worth? On consignment or just for outright purchasing. Oh, um, I mean, we would have to see what it would look like. There's a I skull mean, and there's a spiral and it's multicolored. I mean, we would have to see. This is everything in the store is under 30 or $50. So we'd have to see what it looked like, even if it's a pound shirt. So can I get 30 and I have four, so times four, so just like 120 for the four of them? Um, that's not the way things work. We. We price it, and then we give you 30% of whatever it is we price it at. And that's something that we think about when we're seeing what someone would pay for it. And I'm trying to tell you that we need you to come to the store so that we can look at the shirts. Uh, this is Hound, though, that we're talking about. And there's a skull and a dog and a spiral and a wizard and clouds. Um, have a good day. Converse Talk Station. 630, K-How. Hi, Tom Martino, your troubleshooter. Uh, we have more employment questions. Hang on, we'll get right to you. Welcome. What's going on, Dan? I was working, and my manager at the Denver Puppet Theater was an 80s rock fan, you know, Jay Giles, Boston, Einstein's Ende Neubauten, and such. And recently, I wore a different shirt during the Spirit of 76 Festival, for the band Hound, and my manager Juanita said, no, no Hound, the singer of that band damaged my puppets, and this and that and the other thing, and she said, you know, pound rocks, basically, get out of here. So my question Dan, is- let me ask you this, let me ask you this. This is a puppet theater, right? Yes. And you're a puppeteer or whatever they call you? Well, I've pioneered a, a new kind of rubber puppet, but basically, yes, I'm a puppet. Okay, and then another question, are you a W-2 employee or are you a contractor? Contractor. Yeah, well, with a contractor in theater, because most actors are contractors, and that's why I asked, you don't have the same rights as an employee. Oh. Isn't that, isn't that right, sir? That's true. I mean, then again, depending upon what kind of contract you might have with your, uh, yeah, with your employer. Well, have now, you heard of a precedent for having a particular band uh, objectionable and being fired on that basis? Let's just say for argument's sake, they control enough that he could make the argument he's an employee and should have rights. Could they creatively tell him they don't want him to wear the, the shirt promoting a certain band? I want to make a guess this time. Yes. I'm guessing wearing a shirt you want is not a protective class. So yes, you could get fired for yeah. wearing something. You could absolutely get fired for wearing a particular shirt with a particular band on it. So oh. Dan, they, they could tell you that your puppet is off base. And if it was a Metallica shirt, they probably wouldn't, but in your case, Hound. They could, they could say, Dan, your puppet cannot wear this shirt anymore. Uh. They could. So you, you know, if you thought you were gonna sue her, there's really nothing to sue for. Well, I've moved on. I, like I say, I've got rubber puppets. I'm doing well. I just wanted to ask. When you say rubber puppets, what kind are we talking about? Well, I can't say too much because I'm a pioneer and I invented it. You ought to get them protected if they're unique. I'm serious. You yep. know, we have an intellectual property attorney. I'll get you his numbers. I'm serious, by the way. If you came up with something that's unique, rubber puppets, he would help you. He would, first of all, do a search, and then he could help you protect it. Very serious about that. Okay, we got a lot coming right back. Hello? Hey, yeah, this is Perry. There's a hound running wild out here. Do you know what to do with this? Who is this? Perry. Hello? Yeah, hey guy, there's a hound moving wild out here. Hey, fuck you, okay? Fuck you. What's the matter? Painted bird. Hi, I just wanted to call back from before uh, and say well, I could accept cash if you'd rather stay off the books on those hound shirts. That's fine. Um, we would have to see them before we could, like, make any transaction, I guess. <laughs> like, so... You just have to bring them in. I mean, we're talking spiral, dragon, wizard, clouds. It's all there. It's all full color, and they're 100% cotton. Well, based on what you just described, that actually doesn't really seem like our aesthetic. So we may, it's like, that doesn't even, I don't know. Were you guys demonic or what? We're 
They're not demonic. I mean, I'm talking four shirts. She told me $30 per shirt. That's $120. And if you want to stay off the books, I can cooperate and just tell you about $100 even. We're done. Boom. I don't think that we really want that. What are you trying to say? I'm just trying to say, I don't know, like dragons and like spirals and wizards. I don't know. Spirals. Shapes. A splendor geometrical, if you will. Mm -hmm. So work with me. I don't know. I mean, I'm wearing one right now, and it feels real good. That's cool. So you want to get together and take a gander? Or? I, I don't. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't think. I think. I think we're okay. Guys, Thank you shapes. for calling, though. This shirt's got shapes up the yin yang, guy. <laughs> um. Bye. Hello. Hi, I was calling about your ad for the painting. The the greyhound. Yeah. Um, it's actually um, it's not a painting. It's a it's a greyhound chasing three or four um, rabbits, and it's made out of a material. It's like um, it's one of those that uh, there was a series that came out at one time. Uh huh. I can send you a picture. Is there a demon in there? No. What is this thing? It's a type of material. I'm not sure if it's a uh, lighter wood or a type of a plastic. It's the form of the cow chasing the rabbits. Is there a devil in it? No. Hmm, how come? Um, they didn't put one in it. Okay, what do you want for this thing? I can't remember what I have it posted for. Maybe, was it $30? I don't remember. I've been trying to get through for a few weeks now. Get through? No one picked up when I called the other times. I usually have voicemail. I didn't leave a voicemail. This is my cell phone, so I'm not sure uh, what happened there. Would you accept uh, some ice cream in exchange? I've got some stuff that's real, real good. Um, yeah, I don't need ice cream. This is a little funny for me here, buddy. Well, what do you mean by that? I don't need ice cream. Well, why? I've called, like, repeatedly, and no one answered. Um, maybe it wasn't exactly my phone number, so I don't know who this is. It's a little strange for me here, buddy. I'm Perry. Oh, sorry. My mistake, I, I didn't realize it was Perry. Oh, it sure the heck is. Oh, okay, cool. Listen, just take the ice cream and we'll swap it out, and uh, it'll be good. It'll be dynamite. Yeah, that'll be great. Okay, so when can you come by? I'm going to come by? Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't eat ice cream, so sorry about that. Well, then what are you saying, then? Um, I'm asking money for it, not ice cream. Okay, well, tell me about this thing a little bit. I don't even know what it is. How are you calling, then? You got your number on the in the ad there. What's going on here? What? It's not April 1st, April Fool's, so I'm not sure what's going on. Hey, are you trying to tangle with me, pal? Uh, you're trying to tangle with me. Uh, no, I'm not. Well, what the heck is this thing? You said it was a painting, now you say it's not a painting. It's not a painting, it's a sculpture of, like I said, a greyhound chasing rabbit. Isn't that what you called on? A greyhound what now? Who is this? Who's this? It's a little strange for me here.